There's a register called chest, with its wealth of overtones. The sound is rich, let's make no bones. According to one sensation, the trachea is set into vibration. But the evidence is anecdotal. So some prefer a word like modal for this register in speech. But beware of notes beyond your reach. Although the chest is rather thrilling, you will find your voice is most unwilling to continue towards high C, unless you are Pavarotti. Now the loft is much too soft if you don't have firm adduction. Old Bernoulli loses suction. Just a small posterior chinky makes the sound quite rinky-dinky. Therefore, loft is not employed too oft, and the chest is still the best. If they say, your voice is brittle, if it cracks, you need the middle for the higher tessitura. So your range will be secura. Each newly mastered vocal lift will be a highly treasured gift. And when you've mastered the passaggio, you've made a hit like Joe DiMaggio. Now those who say, ah, what the heck, will never pass this bottleneck. So the singer has to have the middle. But for the rest, well, chest is best. Now, if you absolutely have no middle, all is not lost. Just grab a fiddle and sing a country western song. It's really hard to do it wrong. A sudden break is a desired feature and comes quite naturally to every creature. In fact, with only loft and modal, you can yodel. So, if you have falsetto, but no head, you may be hurting, but you're not dead. By now you've guessed, stick to the chest. Now when the frequency is low, when glottal puffs of air come slow, the chest will change to vocal fry. A crackling sound like straw that's dry. At times, the fry will go to creaky, a nasty sound so freaky that it's used by demons and by witches. It raises havoc with the pitches, cause single pulses turn to doubles. That gives our ears tremendous troubles. One final question we must pose, can fry be uttered through the nose? French fry, it's called. A minor register at best. Don't be distressed. Stick to the chest.